Welcome to Dude RV. I appreciate you stopping by. Today you've caught me exploring Washington on the Brazos State Historic Site. explore this park be a little bit different than my normal park tours but we'll do what we can do so hold on let's go well alrighty then Washington on the Brazos this was where the Republic of Texas was actually created we're going to find out all about this most notable historic site once we get through the grounds and to the museum. So very pretty here. I've been here a couple of times, but it's been been a while since I was last here. visitor center first and get the lay of the land. I'll cut back in once I get the lay of the land. All right, so here at Washington on the Brazos, Texans created a new nation in 1836. So let's go check it out. Washington was barely a town. It had one street and three frame buildings. The Republic government moved from Austin to Washington after the Mexican army invaded San Antonio in 1842. crossing of the brass. Thank you. 
think we've seen enough of this. We're just revisiting all the stuff that we have already seen in other locations. So let's go get on Little Red and check out the ground. Washington on the Brent, this village site of the signing of the Texas Declaration of Independence and first capital of the Republic of Texas began in 1822 as a ferry crossing. Here the historic La Bahia Road, now Ferry Street, spanned the Brazos River. In 1834, a town site was laid out and named, probably for Washington, Georgia, home of the leading settler. In 1835, as political differences with Mexico led toward war, the General Council, the insurgent Texas government, met in the town. Enterprising citizens then promoted the place as, as a site for the convention of 1836 as a bonus, provided a free meeting hall. Thus, Texas Declaration of Independence came to be signed in an unfinished building owned by a gunsmith. The Provisional Government of the Republic was also organized in Washington, but was removed March 17th as news of the advancing Mexican army caused a general, a general panic throughout the region. The townspeople fled, too, in the runaway scrape. The town survived for a brief, for a period. It was again capital of Texas, 1842 to 1845 and became the center of Washington State Park. It now contains historic buildings and Barrington, home of Anson Jones, the last president of Texas. All right. The Independent Hall is right up here. Oop. Different perspective for you. There's not much to see. So this is the first marker that was erected by the school children of Washington County. A great big magnolia tree. That commemorated the purchase of, of Washington Park. We'll go down here and see about visiting the river.
like to see the ferry crossing. I wonder how much of that is left. Brazos floods quite a bit. How are y'all doing? Good, how you doing? Wonderful. I find it kind of fascinating how much the Brazos River really, how, how much of an impact the Brazos River had on Texas. The Brazos River was Washington's lifeline. The town was as far up the river as boats could reliably travel. Well, we, Little Red can't make that hill, so we'll have to find a different way back up. So this pecan tree saw the Texas Revolution. It took root, that, that particular pecan tree took root right after the Old town founders took up residence here. So there's a picnic area over that way. Might check that out. I think she said that was a historic farm and that there's parking for that. Oh no! We can't go that way. Learn something new every day. So I'm out here at Washington on the Brazos. This is the picnic area for Washington on the Brazos. Seems like my 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 timing was was off. Um, museum's not available. And Barrington Farm is also not open today. So we'll just have to come back another day and tour those those two different things. But not to fear. I, I, I saw a couple of very interesting to me historical things on my way here. So on our way back, I'm going to stop and, and show you those points of interest. What I learned today was that Washington on the Brazos is not a state park. It's part of the Texas Historical Commission now which is, uh, I can understand why, that's more fitting, because this isn't really a park, this is a, a historical site with a picnic area. And then there's the Barrington Living Farm adjacent to this. So it's fitting. So I'm gonna jump in the little white truck and we're gonna head back the way we came and look at some more stuff. So here we are at the Old Baptist Church. It's the Historic Independence Baptist Church. Organized in 1839 here 
Sam Houston was converted and baptized in Rocky Creek in 1854. The present building was erected in 1872. So this was built in 1872. Independence, Texas. All right, let's go see some more stuff. We're still in Independence, Texas here. We are actually at the entrance to what was once the Baylor College for Women. So they've got this big arch set up here. I don't know if this is actually the part of the original building or not, or if it was just recreated uh, for our, our benefit, I don't know. But there's some other structures over here, oh, as well. Look at those really cool oak trees. So pretty. According to that, this is the Old Baylor Park. Until they refused to let the, ra the railroad come through and then the town started dying out. <laughs> Baylor was part of not allowing the, the railroad to come through. Uh, but when the town started dying because the railroad went somewhere else, Baylor bailed. An example of an old school. And this is John P. Cole's cabin. We've seen the shotgun shacks before. And Independence, Texas. They have a restroom facility set up for you. Davis family and Clark family. Clark also taught and counseled students. Family operated dormitory on this site 20 years. Dr. Clark with a $1,000 gift from Mr. Hoxie, Hoxie, Hoxie. The three story building. Well, alrighty then. I think I'm about done with Texas history for today. I think I need to go find some food. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, and you're a fan of Texas history, and you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, blast me out across your social media. I also would appreciate you considering clicking on the subscribe button and hitting that bell as well. For those of you who have been following along, thank you, I'm deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. I'd have never come to Independence, Texas if it wasn't for y'all. It's an interesting piece of Texas history. I didn't even know it existed. All right, for those of you who have been following along, thank you very much. And I'd like to give a shout out to my patrons as well. You guys rock. Thank you so much. Y'all come back now, you hear?